Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. This is the third video in the series of operational amplifiers. And in this video, I will talk about the closed loop connection, which is how the op amp works in most applications. Here we have the connection in the closed loop configuration or op amp, the input voltage of the amplifier plus and minus here we have the output voltage a resistor here that goes to the inverting input another resistor from the input voltage and the non-inverting input is connected to ground that means that its voltage is always zero volts now let's remember how is the basic behavior of the operational amplifier. This is explained in the first video of the series. The link is in the description. But basically, if the voltage of the non-inverting input is higher than the voltage of the inverting input, at the output, we will have plus B. And vice versa, if the non-inverting input voltage is higher, then at the output we will have minus V. Now let's analyze how this circuit behaves. Suppose that here at the inverting input we have 1 volt. It is higher than the 0 volts of the non-inverting input. Therefore at the output we will have minus V. This negative voltage comes here and pushes this voltage down because it is negative. Now, suppose that here now we have minus 0.5 volts, which is uh, less than the voltage of zero of the non-inverting input. Now this voltage is higher and at the output we will have plus B. This positive voltage pushes this voltage up and this behavior continues and the effect is that that this voltage at the, non, at the inverting input will be oscillating plus minus until it equals the voltage of the non-inverting input, which is zero volts because it is connected to ground. Therefore, in the closed loop configuration, both voltages of the inputs will be at zero volts. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Let's see what happens with the currents. This resistor, on this side we have voltage VI and here remember that the voltage is zero, therefore the voltage drop in R1 is VI. So the current through resistor 1 is VI divided by R1. Now, the other resistor, the voltage drop, again is V0, V out, because again the voltage here is 0. So the current is V out divided by resistor 2. Now, remember that in an op amp, the internal resistance or impedance is very very high so no current flows through any of the two inputs that means that the two currents must be equal and cancel each other at this point that is vi divided by resistor 1 plus v out divided by resistor 2 must equal zero and from here we get that v out divided by 
resistor sorry divided by vi equals minus resistor 2 divided by resistor 1 and what have here is the voltage at the output divided by the voltage at the input so this is the gain of the amplifier therefore this means that we can choose to have any gain that we want simply by choosing the resistors 1 and 2 for example if you want a gain of 100 you put a resistor of 100 ohms here and a resistor of 1 ohm here or a 400 ohm resistor here and a 4 ohm resistor here or any combination that divided gives you 100 or any other value and the minus sign means that the voltage at the output has opposite sign to the voltage at the input okay let's make the test with the circuit it is here on breadboard the op amp is a 741 and the two resistors 3.3k and 1.5 kilo ohms so the gain is minus 2.2 a factor of 2.2 and we have the 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 power for the op amp plus minus 9 volts from the batteries a little bit less the batteries are not new so with an input voltage of 1 volt the output should be minus 2.2 and here you have on the multimeter and we can vary the input voltage and the output varies with the same factor of 2.2 of course there is a limit for example with 5 volts we only have this output voltage because the output voltage is limited by the value of the batteries let's now check the behavior with an AC input here I have this transformer 6 volts AC at the input and I'm going to use the oscilloscope to see what happens at the output so here it is let me adjust the scale and here you have in blue the sinusoidal AC input and in yellow the output of the circuit of the operational amplifier remember that we have a negative gain therefore for example here starts positive and the output is negative and then in the negative part of the cycle we have positive at the output the sign is inverted and you can see the cutoff in the peaks this is because of what I said before we do not have enough voltage with or 9 volt batteries to, uh, to have enough gain for the factor of 2.2 at the output with, uh, with batteries for example with a voltage of plus minus 30 volts we will see the complete sinusoidal output I have now less input voltage using a voltage divider in the transformer and now we can see the complete sinusoidal output the gain is minus 2.2 so the output is uh, more voltage than the input 2.2 uh, times more and the minus sign inverts the sinusoidal waveform so there it is input and output okay so there it is the behavior of the operational amplifier in closed loop connection Thanks for visiting my channel, I hope you liked this video and see you in the next one.